Right, let's have a look at this now. That's the wrong... That's last year's one. Is it? Yeah, that's last year's one. Damn it, damn it. Where'd he go? There we go. Ooh. Very nice. Weird dies, but very, very nice. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the White Tiger Gear, and it is quite a nice mount, as well as the saddle looks really good, I don't know why. Uh, outfit as well, that we have going on here. Let's have a look at the dies. So this is Blue Sky, Electro Purple, Daybreak, and Cerulean Sky. Let's have a look at the default. Which is uh, whites, silvers, reds, and yellows. Very nice. A little bit of blue down in the trousers. And then for the mount... Four. We have Shadow Abyss on the left, Midnight Red, and Destroyer Orange on the right. Which goes to White on top, Shadow Abyss, and Black Cherry on the bottom. Ooh, that looks really nice. I really like that. Got a unique mount up and dismount ability, I believe, but the engage skill looks very much the same. Let's have a look at the portal skill. That looks unique to me. It's got a lovely uh, red color, so that means it's going to be... Bottom right is going to decide the effects. All in all, a very nice main skin. So first up, the outfit. All Shadow Abyss does affect everything. Go top left is the main part of the armor and the effects. I love the orange on the uh, sort of tattoo sort of stuff. Very cool. And the eyes as well. Kind of wish you could have the eyes and... Uh, tattoo stuff differently colored but top right is going to be the sort of cloth layer of the armor let's go bottom left which is the cloth part of the trousers and bottom right which is sort of highlights and accessories very nice and there we have green on the top left, purple on the top right, blue on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. So you can kind of see the contrast of the different layers. Now for the actual tiger mount, here we go. All Shadow Abyss, the saddle always remains a lovely gold, which is nice. As well as the eyes are undiable too. Top left is going to be the main part of the fur on the lower part of the body as well as the majority of the face. Top right is going to be the upper layer of the body for the white part of the fur. Bottom left is going to be all the stripes throughout the body. And that was bottom left. Bottom right here is the straps on the saddle. Very nice. And then again, we have green on the top left, purple on the top right, blue on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. Lovely stuff. Now, we also have new weapons with this patch in the White Tiger appearance package. Let's have a look at them. First up, we have the Warhorn. Quite nice. Next up, we have the torch. That's quite cool too, actually. It looks a bit more like a scepter than a torch, but... There you go. Next up, we have the sword. Ooh, that's a nice curved blade. I like it. Uh, 
Very cool. Next we have the staff. Again, it's got a blade on the top. That's also pretty nice. Especially for like the likes of Daredevil. Next up we have the shield, which looks very nice. It seems to have a sort of mirror, I guess, on the back. I don't know if it actually... No, it's not actually a mirror, but... It's... metal -y. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Let's move on. To the scepter. So here's the scepter. It does differ from the torch a bit. But it also does look quite nice. Next up we have the rifle. Hmm. Got the beads wrapped around it. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have the pistol. Hmm, very nice. I like that pistol. Have the mace. Uh, next up is the hammer. <laughs> Tiger is very lazy there. <laughs> Here's the great sword. Got the focus, which is just a claw, I like that. The dagger. Very nice. The short bow. The long bow. And finally, the axe. Ooh. Quite a nice axe as well. And there we go. That is included with the Tiger Weapon Appearance Package, which is 2,400 gems for the mount, the outfit, a weapon, a makeover kit, and five dies of the Sacred Die Pack. Blue Rose, Breeze, Banana, another banana, and Harvest Gold. Mm, nothing new. Right, let's go check this out on all the different characters and races of Tyria. Here we go. Oh, that's the wrong mount. <laughs> Here we are on Human with the new White Tiger Jackal. It looks great in pure white, actually. I like it a lot. And we have the outfit as well, of course. Which looks great. And the Vermilion Wings, which I think might be a little bit too much. Just a little bit. But it does look very, very good. So it does. Let's have a look at the dye channels. So we have the default for the outfit. There, as you see. It kind of works alright with the Vermilion Flame, but I think the Vermilion Flame is a little bit too much. Uh, maybe... Maybe... Okay, it's not too bad. I, just, I think the, the Vermilion Wings are maybe a little bit too big. Oh, I don't even have that die. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, so it's default for the outfit. But for the mount, let's see. We have Daybreak, 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 Daybreak on all three. I would probably turn that down a little bit. Maybe Bone. I think Bone would just take a little bit of white out. And make it look a little bit nicer. I think Daybreak is a bit too bright. And then maybe be... like white gold or something. How does that look? Not too bad. Still needs some work, I think. But not too bad. So, that is... What is that now? <laughs> uh, crush bone, crush bone on top with white gold and shadow abyss. Nice. Let's move on to our next character after I buy the druid root stone for today.
Let's do it. Ooh, now this looks cool. This is the white tiger on Silvari. Let's have a look. Get a nice uh, use. Oh, you can't fit through here. There we go. <laughs> nice use of the lava lounge. Interesting now. It's kind of greeny with orange and red. I think it was the Maguma mount before, so that kind of makes sense. And we got some green vibes on the outfit, which I kind of like. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's have a look at the dies. Let's see now, dies. So, the outfit, we have Shadow Green, Eerie Purple, Shadow Abyss, and Bloodstone Indigo. It's kind of a weird, uh, nice sickly sort of pattern. Looks pretty good. Turn off that. I quite like that, actually, yeah. Nice. And for the Warclaw, we have Old Nickel, Evening Red, Illumination, and Salmon. Doesn't quite work as well, I don't think. Maybe if we get rid of the uh, Evening Red is a bit strong, I think. Not too sure now, but there we go. Let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Here we are on Norn with the new outfit and Jackal skin. Looks pretty nice. The blue and gold is quite nice, but again, I think the fur needs to be changed a little bit. And I quite like the dark red nature of this outfit die. Looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let's have a look at the dies. Here we go. So for the outfit, we have Chocolate Ruin, Glint's Isolation, and Die Remover on the bottom right, which looks really, really nice, actually. Though maybe the trousers are a bit too bright. It's hard to see that on the mount. And for the mount itself, we have Old Nickel, Gold, Gold, and Sea Foam. Which I think the Sea Foam and the saddle looks really, really nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let's move on to our next character, the Char. And here we are on Char with the new white tiger mount and outfit. Roaming through the jungle. Uh, it looks fantastic. Though the red might be a bit much, and the blue. I think, I feel like the default white and black just kind of looks great. I haven't, I haven't had a random dye pattern work yet. And by random, I mean whatever I was using that looked good on another mount. Let's have a look at the dies. So on the outfit, we have Shadow Abyss. On the left, we have Crimson Line and Destroyer Orange on the right. And that looks quite good. Don't have as much of an effect from the sort of tattoo stuff. That's probably the hair option that I have on this char covering it up. And then for the mount, we have White, Scarlet, Sincerity, and Strawberry. What if we... That looks a bit better, I think. Ow! Ow! Wait! I'm... Guys, I'm doing a video. Oh, I'm on Necromancer, not Reaper. That's a mistake. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I quite like the outfit, uh, and I th think the tattoos should go up uh, across the neck. Uh, I'll just double check that now. And yeah, the tattoos do go up on the char, it was just covered by the neck. Okay, let's move on. Or no, let's return to Quando and wrap up the video, because that is all races of Tyria. 
and if you are curious on this outfit we have cherry on top pyre and shadow bis on the bottom right let's head back to kwando and wrap up the video right well that is it for today's demo guys i do hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future you can check out the giveaway to be in with a chance to win the mount or the outfit for yourself the link for that should be in the end screen and make sure to join the discord if you have not already the link for that is down below and that'll keep you up to date with all things new on the channel such as new videos when i go live and our weekly screenshot challenge every weekend in guild wars 2 and you can also support the channel through the membership program as well i'll be back later on this evening with lunar new year live i'm looking forward to that it's very tufty isn't it <laughs> uh, but yeah look forward to that going to be opening up loads of the lucky red envelopes hopefully and getting back into doing all of the lunar new year mini games and maybe even finish the festival in the one sitting who knows uh, but that shall be later on this evening and we'll be back this weekend, hopefully, with a opening of a few thousand lunar envelopes. Uh, so that shall hopefully be Saturday. But that's it for me for now, so until next time, thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and take care.